Last night was Wales' penultimate European Women's Championship qualifier and they hosted Norway at home at the Cardiff City Stadium. They fell to a 1-0 defeat, but it was a result they can definitely be proud of and one they can build on. Laura O'Sullivan was definitely the standout player, um, keeping shots out left, right and centre up until the 61st minute where Kaylee Green was caught in possession and went 1-0 down. The result of this game, along with Northern Ireland beating Belarus, means that Wales's qualification chances are now in Northern Irish hands. Wales only have one game in hand, whereas Northern Ireland have two, meaning that if they're on the same amount of points, Northern Ireland would go through on away goals um, head-to-head. The result was definitely a fair one. It's one the Welsh team can be proud of, uh, but they'll know what they need to do now to build on this. I caught up with Abby Davis of Welsh football fans who was there at the Cardiff City Stadium on her opinion on the performance and where the team go from here. What were your thoughts on last night's game and were there any standout performances for you? Yeah, it was quite a strange one really because obviously we played Norway last month in Oslo um, and the way we approached that game, we took the game to them from the outset, played with a high press um, and we really went toe to toe with them. Obviously we conceded a goal which was disappointed disappointing and um, a little bit sloppy but yeah overall the performance was so good that that going into last night I thought if we went with the same it was kind of like a 4-1-3-2 formation if we went in with that that mindset and that that attacking um, thought process then maybe we could come away with something um, but it was clear from the outset that we uh, we were going to employ different tactics last night shall we say because Sophie Ingle dropped into a back five Um, And we allowed Norway to come at us, which I think, you know, it's something that we can execute very well because we are very solid and and we do make it difficult for for teams to break us down. But when you're playing against a side like Norway with with the threat that they possess, especially, you know, players like um, Caroline Grant, uh, (laughs) especially with players like Caroline Graham Hansen, um, she, you know, she's a superstar she plays for Barcelona and she epitomizes everything that you associate with Barcelona she's absolutely phenomenal on the ball um, and she can create something out of nothing as well so um, yeah it was quite it was quite difficult and it was it was very nervy to watch and I think you know when we did concede and it forced us out of that style of play and and forced us to really attack we did go toe-to-toe with them again and I think you know a lot of us were saying if we'd gone with that approach from the outset, would the would the result have been different? Um, but, you know, you have to trust in Jane Ludlow and what she does because she's doing such a fantastic job with this group of with this group of girls. Um, yeah, there were there were some stand up performances. Um, I think. I think Rachel Rowe, you know, she's one of my favourite footballers to watch. Um, it was great to see her back in the starting eleven. I know she hasn't been playing that much for Reading of late. Um, I thought she did really well. Sophie Ingle, very little gets past her. But Laura O'Sullivan, for me, was one of the standouts because, as we know, she's maybe had a little dip in confidence over recent recent games. Um, but she really commanded the area last night, made some great saves. And, and seeing her come for the ball and and be decisive it really showed that she was back to her best and I think that's really important for us yeah and with qualification now out of their out of their own hands um what are the chances do you think of qualifying or do you think it's too much of a big ask really I mean it is very difficult isn't it um you know when when Jane was speaking in in her press conference yesterday a lot of the questions were kind of like you know looking ahead past this campaign if you like you know it's difficult when it's out of your hands it's difficult to focus on it too much because you don't want to get your hopes up and then and then have them dashed um Northern Ireland are a solid side I think you know if we if we don't manage to to get a playoff spot it's our games against Northern Ireland that'll cost us that that two all draw at Rodney Parade I remember we were a lot of us were talking about it yesterday and I remember being at Rodney parade and as that went in we all turned to each other and, and went this will be the one that costs us it's not the two defeats to Norway because we played so well in those games and they're kind of like the the bonus games if you like um it's the games against Northern Ireland that will cost us but I'm confident that you know if there if there's any glimmer of hope 
Jane will have us prepared for that final game against Bulgaria. Um, yeah, I think I think we'll all be all be hoping they they help us out with the result over Northern Ireland. And finally, what effect do you think the result will have on the players um, and potentially not qualifying? Or are they too much of a tight bunch that they'll just pick their heads up and go again? Yeah, I think they really are. And, and their mindset, I think a lot of it stems from, from where they've come from because a lot of the, the older players, like your Tash Hardin, your Jess Fishlock, they've been involved in, in this setup since you know, since or before the times where there was funding and, and it was quite difficult to be a professional footballer then, if you like, for a female. So I think their mindsets are so strong. Obviously, you saw on the pitch last night after the game how much it meant to them. Um, I think Tash had a few tears on the pitch and and it's because they want it so much and, and they can see that this is really the opportunity for them because you've got the, the perfect balance. You've got youth coming through. Um, but you've also got that experience and, and they blend so well together. Um, I think I think they've got too much experience and too much prowess to, to really let it, you know, stop them and stop them from remembering what this journey is and what it's about. And I think, you know, that it will take a few days or a few weeks to get over. Um, but it's quite good because a lot of the girls now are together in club football as well. You know, you look at the little pockets you've got and Reading have got a number of our girls together. Um, so, you know, they've, they've got that cohesion then at club level as well, which will really help them. But I'm, I'm confident that when it comes to that Bulgaria, whether it's a case of just putting on a show and going out on a high or whether we've got something to play for, they'll turn up for that game.